The unofficial word is the two environmentalists injured when a bomb went off in their car just before noon are suspects and not just victims. The unconfirmed report says Judy Berry and Daryl Cherney will be charged with possession and transportation of explosives. No, I think we need to save you so that our children can have wood to build out of. We're not saying no logging. What is the basic event out of which the case arose? I was bombed and nearly killed in a car bomb assassination attempt. There was a very huge explosion, and I felt it rip through me. Police say their evidence is compelling, but they would not say what it is. Of course, the nails didn't match either. They went into my house and pulled nails out of the window trim. I mean, this is not your normal investigation where they're trying to find out who did something. They were just trying to frame me. The terrorists is all they are. They go blowing up stuff. They caught him down Frisco with the bomb. Our struggle to save these forests has been a trail of tears and broken trees. We've put, quote, unquote, the best forestry laws in the country on the books. We've done everything we can to enforce them, and they still take every tree in the forest. What was it your hope to achieve by pursuing the lawsuit? Justice. In what form? Justice and vindication. It was an emotional day in the courtroom today in the case of Earth First activists Judy Barry and Daryl Cherney versus the FBI and Oakland police. People can see when activists are attacked for their activism by the government, by the police. What the FBI has been doing instead of fighting terrorism is looking at activists and tampering with activists' protected activities, and that's got to stop. The question I get asked a lot is, do you think the FBI was involved in the bombing somehow? And I would say they were involved in the bombing right up to the present moment by hiding the identity of the bomber. They're running cover for the bomber, and they're doing it right to this moment. <laughs>